What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I talk all about sports, books, usually queer books, and I like to create bookish challenges for myself. Today I'm sharing with you 11 sports books coming out in 2022 that I am anticipating. Let's get into it. <laughs> As always, I'll leave a blog post down below with all of the books that I've mentioned and the places I've got them. I have specifically found these on the 2022 YA Tumblr page created by Wreck-It Rachel, so that will be linked down below as well if you just want to peruse and look for more books that are coming out in 2022. Most of these books do have LGBTQ plus reps, so I will specifically state that when I get to those books, but let's Let's just get started. First and foremost, we have to start out with the hockey books. First being a book that's been on my radar for quite a while, and this is Icebreaker by A.L. Grazia Day, and I am so excited for this. I reached out to Macmillan and they were kind enough to send me a e-arc of this book, and I am just so excited to read it, so look out for a vlog of that hopefully coming by the end of the year because this book comes out on January 18th. I'm so excited, so let me tell you what it's all about. This is about Jason and Mickey, and they are rival hockey players battling to get the first round draft pick in the NHL. So this is all about the NHL draft, and the author is non-binary, and this is just going to be amazing. It is a rivals to lovers, and... I am just so excited for this. So everybody have this on your radar because I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. This is their debut and I already pre-ordered it. I am so excited to read it. So that is definitely my most anticipated release of the year. But my other one is the third and final book in the Bear Town series. It is called The Winners and that is my favorite title ever. If you're new here, Bear Town is my favorite book. I also have a video where I recommend sports books, so that will be up here if you would like to watch it. I am just so excited for this. I'm sad for it to come to a close, but I'm excited to just have more in this universe, so maybe I will do a reading vlog of me just reading the whole series again. I am super excited for this. Since it's the third book in the series, I'm not going to tell you what it's about and I am not going to look to know what it's about. I don't want to spoil anyone who hasn't read the book series yet, but if you haven't, I highly recommend it, but there is a trigger warning for sexual assault. So those are the only two hockey books that I know of. Next is swimming, and I did see a lot of swimming books, so I'm just going to share with you a couple that I'm interested in. First being Breathe and Count Back from 10 by Natalia Sylvester. This comes out on May 10th and it has disability rep. This is about Veronica, a Peruvian American teen with hip dysplasia who auditions to become a mermaid at a Central Florida theme park before her senior year, all while figuring out her first real boyfriend and how to feel safe in her own body. I am reading this off of We Need Diverse Books, so I will link that down below. The cover is stunning and I'm really excited for this, but I will read any reviews from disabled reviewers before going into it. Another book with swimming in it that I'm super excited for is Man O War by Corey McCarthy. I am super excited for this. It has a trans swimmer, so let me just tell you what it's about before I get ahead of myself because I'm so excited. It says, an achingly honest and frequently hilarious coming of age novel about an Arab American trans swimmer fighting to keep their head above water in a landlocked Midwestern town. I received a e-arc of this from Penguin Teen, so look out for my review of that coming next year. This is coming out on May 31st, 2022. As I'm reading more of the blurb, this also has a theme park element where it says, River McIntyre has grown up down the street from Sea Planet, an infamous marine life theme park slowly going out of business in small town Ohio. So it looks like we're going to be reading a lot about theme parks in 2022. But I'm super excited for this. 
It sounds awesome. I've heard good things about this author and you know I am going to read any trans sports book that you give me. <laughs> Next is one that I didn't even know was a sports book. I guess I just kind of glanced over that fact but before I share this book any further I will say that there is a content warning for food. There's food on the cover. So if that's a trigger for you I will see you at the next book. But this is Cafe Con Liche by Emery Lee. Look at this cover. It is awesome and it is about soccer. I didn't even know that but let me tell you about it. It's coming out on May 10th and it says Leo Mori wants to escape. Leaving Vermont for college means getting away from working at his parents Asian American cafe and dealing with their arch rival's hopeless son Gabby who's lost the soccer team more games than Leo can count. Gabby Moriano is miserably stuck in the closet forced to play soccer to hide his love for dance and iced out by Theo the only openly gay guy at school. Gabby's only reprieve is his parents Puerto Rican bakery and his plans to take over after graduation and I will leave you with that. I am super excited for this. I love books about food especially bakeries and I love some trans rep and just overall some queer books. So this sounds really good. I love queer sports and I am just super excited for the books coming out in 2022. So let's move on to the rest. The next book is one that inspired this video and this is an anthology and I was also sent an e-arc of this from Penguin Teen so shout out to them. Thank you so much for this. I am super excited to read this. It is Game On, a YA sports anthology and I think that this was made for me. Somebody saw my videos and was like hey we should write a whole book for Alex and they did and I'm super excited for it. So we have Laura Silverman. I believe it's edited by her. We have Isaac Fitzsimons and I am just super excited. It says a charming and inclusive YA anthology all about games from athletic sports to board games to virtual reality from editor Laura Silverman and an all-star cast of contributors. We have a manhunt game interrupted by a town disappearing beneath the player's eyes, a puzzle filled scavenger hunt, a series of summer nights full of card games leading a boy to fall for another boy who he knows is taken and a spin the bottle game could end a lifelong friendship. This just sounds so good and when I first saw it I screamed. This is just made for me and I'm super excited. I'm definitely going to have a vlog where I probably read this and Icebreaker or just all of them. So if you're interested in hearing me talk more about sports books especially queer and trans sports books feel free to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so more people can learn about these books. Next is a book from Dahlia Adler who I have not read from yet. I have Cool for Summer and I still need to read it. This is Home Field Advantage by Dahlia Adler. It is about football and cheerleading. It just feels like we're gonna have a lot of conversations about misogyny in this book because the quarterback gets replaced by a girl named Jacqueline who goes by Jack and Amber and her have a romance. So I'm excited to see what happens here. I know Dahlia Adler is a great author. I've heard nothing but good things about her and this just sounds awesome. I really love the cover and I love me a dark contemporary with sports involved so I'm very excited for this one. Next is a gymnastics book which I'm super excited about. I don't see many gymnastics books but this is It's All in How You Fall by Sarah Henning. I have not heard of this author before but when I was researching for this video I saw a lot of praise for her. So sounds like this is going to be good so let me tell you a little bit about it. It's coming out on May 31st. It looks like a lot of these books are coming out then. This also has chronic pain rep. Gymnast Caroline Kepler has three state balance beam titles, a new trick even most elites can't do, and chronic undeniable back pain. 
While she might never be an Olympian, she dreams of leveling up to elite, making nationals, and competing in college. But one epic faceplant changes all of that, and Caroline's back pain goes from chronic to career ending. Her dreams are shattered and her life is flipped upside down. Enter Alex Zavella. We have so many characters named Alex coming out in 2022 that I feel like I'm going to have to do another reading books with my name in the title, but this might just have to be reading books with characters with my name. <laughs> Enter Alex Zavala, a three-sport athlete who's both incredibly cute and incredibly off-limits. He offers to give Caroline a crash course in all of the sports she's missed, and she has an offer for him in return. For every sport Alex teaches her, she'll play matchmaker for him. Deal done, Caroline dates new sports with Alex for the rest of the summer. Does that not just sound fantastic? Definitely going to have to order this one or order it at my library because it just sounds awesome and I'm super excited and it just sounds awesome. Next is a ballerina. So this is pretty fun. It is Turning by Joy L. Smith coming out on March 1st. I'm sorry these aren't in order. I probably should have done that, but it's fine. We have a lot of sports injuries and disability rap going on here. So this is about Jeannie, who is a wheelchair user due to a injury, I believe. She was the star pupil at her exclusive New York dance school with a bright future and endless possibilities before her. Now that the future she spent years building toward has been snatched away, she can't stand to be reminded of it even if it means isolating herself from her best friends and her mother. So it looks like we're gonna have some mental health rep in here as well. I'm excited. I really just love dark contemporaries that touch on these topics, so I'm excited. So now I'm down to the last two, and this is a memoir that I also have an e-arc of. This is Brace for Impact, a memoir by Gabe Manistanti. And this is coming out on May 24th, 2022, and we have Roller Derby. Gabe grew up queer in a working class Catholic family in a conservative town in the Midwest. In this turbulent environment, she developed a severe eating disorder, learned to distrust herself, and lived in constant fear. As she enters graduate school, she vows to put the trauma of her past behind her and learn to fully inhabit her body. And she joins an arch rival roller derby in St. Louis, one of the top rated teams in the country, and instantly falls in love with the sport's roughness, intensity, and open embrace of people who are literally and figuratively scarred. So this sounds queer and it sounds good and I don't see many books about roller derby. So we have a queer sports memoir and I'm super excited for this. And last is a marching band book. And this is Forward March by Sky Quinlan. The tagline says, what's worse? Someone using your face for catfishing or realizing you actually do have a crush on the catfished girl. It has ace rap and sapphic romance. And it also has politics, so I'm wondering how this is going to go, but I love seeing marching band books. I was a, not in marching band, but I was surrounded by kids that were in marching band in high school, so I love these type of books. So those were the sports books I'm anticipating in 2022, like I said. There will be a blog post down below and all of the books and links that I mentioned will be down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And I am doing the 12 days of Vlogmas. So I will see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.